guys, what's going on? My name is Luis. Today is October 29, 2024, and God bless to every single one of you. Guys, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. We have a big breaking news update when it comes to DC and multiple Black Hawk helicopters training that took place last night. You have a uh, representative, Marjorie Green, sounds the alarm after Capitol conduct late night casualty evacuation exercise with 12 helicopter buzzing over the facility. They are planning to maintain control of the region. All right, we're gonna see what's going on here. This, this here gotta be my fourth video. My fourth video. That's how important this is, guys. Uh, last night I posted a video. There were 12 um, Black Hawk helicopters out there and conducting uh, evacuation tr uh, training. Now, a lot of people believe this is a WW3 preparation or November preparation. Uh, I do believe it's a combination of two, um, WW3 and uh, November events. So Marjorie Green is sounding the alarm. We're gonna see what's going on here. But before I start, for those of you that wanna send us letters, a prayer request, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, Oh, my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Guys, thank you so much for your support, either through PayPal or the super thanks in the comments box. Thank you so much. Your support truly helps out. Thank you. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Marjorie Green is sounding the alarm. All right, so Sleeping Giant Capital police in coordination with federal agency conducted a evacuation exercise Monday night just over a week before November all right so in a public notice the sleeping giant capital stated exercise exercise this evening the sleeping giant state capital police and our four excuse me our federal partners are conducting a routine training exercise on the ground of the uh, of the facility. Now, please do not be alarmed if you see emergency vehicles and low flying helicopters. Now, this happened three weeks ago. They were doing some. Uh, actually, it wasn't. Uh, there were no helicopters. Uh, it was early morning, I think around 6 a.m. Eastern time, and the facility they had the alarm going off, and they were making sure that the alarm. It's running properly, and yeah, it was mostly the alarm. You know that fire alarm thing that you pull? Well, it was something like that. So it was it was blasting from 6 in the morning to like 7 a.m. So it was like an hour. So they were, uh, they, were, uh, they were making sure the alarm is functioning and everything else is in order. Now, again, they are preparing. I do believe it's more towards November event, uh, but you cannot ignore... Uh, WW3, Vladimir Putin, or I'm not going to say his full name, but uh, he has uh, announced that uh, they will test launch a nuke. So there's some stuff going on here, guys. There is some stuff going on. This exercise took place one week after the you-know-who conducted a campus-wide evacuation drill. So that's the one. So the exercise this morning at approximately 10 a.m., will have a campus-wide evacuation exercise. The routine drill, it is coordination with our legislative branch partners. Now expect temporary street closures to include Constitution Avenue, Independent Avenue, and D Street, Northeast Capitol uh, Road on the Monday, October 21st. I assume that these people, when I say these people, like Marjorie Green and all these others, Senate and whatever, House and all them, I assume they received emails about the upcoming training exercises. But she's coming out and she's not liking it. So we're going to get to Marjorie Green, but let me just read all this first. The timing of this exercise coming just as the 2024 November event approach has raised alarms among some leaders, you know what leaders, including Marjorie Green. Uh, Green has issued a stark warning 
about what she believes is a calculated move by the left to secure control of the facility ahead of J. You know what? The date designated for certification of the presidential election. I'm skipping certain words because the platform is really strict here. So in a statement to her supporters, Green argued that the LEFT are ramping up security measures in D.C. Not to protect the people, but to further entrench the hold on the GOV should they lose seats in the House. Hmm. Wow. They know something is coming. Green statement below. All right, let's see what Green got to say in this one here, guys. All right, so you have the uh, Capitol Police hold uh, evacuation exercise at the Capitol with multiple helicopters last night. Stay with me on this. The 4-5 told us to make it to big... To, oh, wait a minute. The 4 5 told us to make it too big to RIG. I'm going to spell it. And we are on our way to making that happen as long as everyone goes out and, you know, for the 4 5. But we are in a great event of losing the house with approximately 20 house seats, literally too close. Hmm. Man, it's going to be one of those uh, big disappointments. Eating, you know, doesn't matter either side, but uh, prepare for this one here. Without the uh, House, we can not pass critical legislation to bring forward our MAGA agenda. But also, if left controls the House, they will refuse to certify 4 5. Alex Anjay, you know what? They already said they won't certify. Well, they have to. That's they have no other choice. They have to. <laughs> so, so leading into this uh, election, just in the past few months, left are making a big moves to secure this facility in January for certification on the six. So basically, it seems like uh, it seems like they are securing that region, uh, that one facility. Uh, that one facility that uh, they don't want that certify on January. Uh, they don't want that has to certify and transfer the power from Joey to the new person, which possibly could be the four or five, which they are not going to certify. They say they're not going to do it. Uh, I don't know how they're supposed to do it because that's, that's in the Constitution. They're supposed to do it. So that facility is being, uh, there's something being built in front of that facility. And I did post a video. The link will be in the comments box. They're building something. They're building some kind of barrier. They got all these Blackhawk helicopters. So something big is going to go down, uh, not only for November, but it's going to go down for January 2025. Um, last night, you have the, uh, you know what, conducted a evacuation exercise on the east front with multiple helicopters. This comes after the DO, you know what, signed off on the military force to be used to assist the uh, police against the sleeping giant people. Oh man, they're gonna take it. Man, they're gonna take it, <laughs> guys. So you have uh, Alejandro designating the January as a special security event through the uh, security. Once again, you have the mayor of D.C. requesting security for January and the announcement of fencing to be erected January 5th through the 21st. That's sad. That is really sad when you have to have all those protection. This is where we at. That goes to tell you that, that they're not loved. They are not loved. But for some reason, they keep, uh, they keep supposedly winning. So how does, how is that possible? You're not loved. You have to build barriers because you're not loved, but you winning? Yeah, there's something wrong here. It's common sense. It's just common sense. I mean, there's some stuff going on with the mailbox. I'm not going to say too much, but a lot of mailbox is being lit on FIRE. 
It's common sense. Come on, guys. So while security is also always, excuse me, important, you have the LEFT or the party of lawlessness, rise, and others. If they lose, they don't care about the security anything. They nearly almost took down um, certain areas on the 4-5 inauguration in 2017. There was rise nightly during 2020 called us all N-A-Z-I and the 4 5 they call him the you know who. I'm so sick and tired of, uh, I mean, that's it, man. I mean, can we retire these names here? Enough is enough. Enough is enough. I mean, it's just so tired. I guess it got so, you know, blaming everything. Back in 2016, they blame everything on the bear, Russia. They blame everything on the bear. It's the bear's fault. It's the bear's fault. It's the bear's fault. Now the story has changed. Now they're bringing up that person's name. You know, the one from 1939, the guy with the mustache. I'm not going to say his name because the platform, they're too strict. But uh, just so sad that these people, L the, the left, unbelievable. It says here, but they are ramping up mass security for the facility because they are planning to maintain control of the facility by winning the event. The 4-5 momentum is too big to stop, and we are watching the polls stopping the stool for the 4-5, but we are not doing the same thing for critical house races. So, in other words, we going to let him take the we're going to let him win. But we will control the House and the other Senate, you know what. And there's a possibility they might reject him and say, you got to go. You got to go. It says here, and if the 4-5 wins, the right win, the Senate, but we lose the House, the left will build a fortress of resistance in the House. So it's going to be like 2018. It's going to be like 2018. They will stop everything. They will, there you go, guys. I just mentioned that. They will improve the 4 5 again. And they will abuse every ounce of, you know what, that comes with. And again, it's just really messed up. But a lot of stuff here I can say, guys. Follow me on this one. So they're going to try to do this again. It's so sad. I never. It's so sad. It is. It's so sad. It's disgusting. <laughs> Make sure your V O T E all the way down. I uh, can skip all this. So. I never see anything like it. Never see anything like it. All right, so Marjorie is really sounding the alarm on this one here. She's basically saying that uh, there's a possibility 4-5 is going to win it, but the other side is going to take the house. Because, again, it's just too close of a race. So uh, we're going to just wait and see, but, uh, yeah, it's not looking good. So, um, they have to certify him. I mean, if if they win, like, actually, hold on, hold on. So, if they win the house, it won't go through until after January twenty twenty five, January twenty first, twenty twenty five. So again, everybody is gonna have to pack up their bag. Not everyone, but some has to pack up their bag before January 21, 2025. So January 6 is that certifying that they must transfer the power. So supposedly they're not going to do it. If 4-5 wins, they're not going to transfer the power. They have to. They have no other other choice. They don't make the uh, they don't make the decision. It's the sleeping giant people that makes the decision. They went for him, they want him, it ain't up to those looney tunes. It ain't up to them. So, again, this is where we at right now, guys. If they don't certify him in January, then, yeah, they go your sleeping giant country uh, has been taken over. 
Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, please share the video. For those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.